Okay, I'm going to manipulate between, just to the head forward, because I'm going to manipulate between C7 and T1. So if you're looking on this vertebra here, so we've got a C7 and T1, and then the nerve exits is going to be C8 nerve, which will be part of the ulnar nerve. So if someone has tingling to the little finger, then the manipulation of C7 and T1 could work quite well. So the way we set the patient up, so we get the person just to sit back a little bit more, Chris, that's perfect. And then place your hands onto their forearms, and then what you do, you then ask them to interlock their fingers behind their neck, and allow their elbows just to come forward. Now, my left leg is pivoting on my toes, so I'm just going to just rock back and just slowly increase tension into his upper thoracic spine. When you feel the tension is locked in, then if you want to apply the manipulation from there, I'm just going to lock you in, Chris, you okay? Locking them in from there and a little thrust at the end to gap. A C7 and T1. Okay? That's all.